guys, it's Kelly. I'm back for part two of my makeup collection and organization video. Um, the last time, part one was really, really long, so I'm going to try to go ahead and get into it as quickly as possible. Um, in the first video, I went over everything that's on top of my desk, including my mirror, and I'm still here. It's just me. I just filmed. I thought I'd go ahead and film it and get it out. So, hair is up in a bun, a messy bun, and still no makeup, but... Anyway, we went over everything on top of my desk that I'm using, and I went through the things that's in my acrylic containers, including my original beauty box. And so now what we really need to do is get into these drawers. There's not a whole lot in the drawers. I really want to focus more of my time on my Alex 9 drawer and the things that are on top there, because that's where the majority of my makeup is actually at, other than my everyday items that I use there. Okay, the drawer in front of me as I'm sitting down, I just have some necessities in here. It's nothing all that exciting. Um, I have a Chanel makeup bag that I was gifted and um, it's really pretty, but um, I don't use it, but just on special occasions. So um, I keep that in its box inside this drawer where it's nice and flat and won't get crunched. Um, just some junk in here, some receipts and that sort of thing. I gotta have one of these to light my candle. I do keep a notepad and a pen close by at all times. So if somebody calls me and I need to make notes, I can do that. Um, this is just one of the containers for one of the Kat Von D brushes. It's actually the brush that goes with the Shade and Light Contra palette. Um, and that is actually this brush. Let's see, where is it? There it is. That's the brush right here. This is the best brush there is. I absolutely love this. It, I have two favorite brushes in my collection and this is one of them. It's the dual ended, um, but anyway. Right here next to the lighter are some clean brushes. This is just a, a large um, Sephora brand uh, Kabuki brush um, that I got thinking that it would be great. Um, it's a little too stiff for, for what I like, but you know, it is what it is. Um, these are my dual ended brushes and these are the only ones that I have. Um, they're hard to store. I mean, I think everybody has an issue with storing your dual ended brushes without messing one of them up. But I will say that out of my dual ended brushes, the It Cosmetics brush, this one, um, the dual ended brush from It Cosmetics is the best. Um, what I do is I, I put my foundation on, I kind of paint it on with this end, and then I can do my concealer with this end, and I can get well, right into the corners of my eyes and everything. It's a great brush. I think all of It Cosmetics brushes are really, really good. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so in this corner, I have um, hand sanitizers. I try to always keep a hand sanitizer on me at all times, and I also like to keep plenty in my drawer here. Um, this, this is really my entire stash, and I just pull from this when I need one in my purse, when I've used one up or whatever. But I also, if I haven't washed my hands before I'm doing my makeup, which is very important that you do, and sometimes I still use this, but always make sure your hands are clean because you don't want to introduce any bacteria to your face because even at my age, I'm 46, and even at my age, I can get cystic acne from introducing you know bacteria to my skin so you don't want to do that um and if you already have acne prone skin um be very careful don't prop on your hand and you know touch your face during the day and things like that because you're introducing bacteria to your skin and it's going to make you break out more often um right here i always keep i just refill this as it gets with it, it fits here good, so it's a small size, but I just refill it when it gets empty, but I like to have hand lotion by once I get finished with anything on my face that, um, or like when I'm ready to go on to fixing my hair after I've done my face, I like to put some lotion on because I have such dry skin. In the middle here, these are all my dirty brushes, the brushes that need to be cleaned. Um, in here, one of my favorite brushes is this right here. Um... This is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush, and this is what I use every single time I apply makeup. This is what I stipple on my makeup with. It is absolutely an incredible brush. I can't say enough about it other than you need it. You just flat need it. But I have all kinds of anything from um, high-end to drugstore in here, um, but this is just where I keep the ones that I've used. and. I know that they need to be cleaned. When this gets full, then that's when I break out my Cinema Secrets and I get busy cleaning. 
And in this corner here, all I have is just a couple little random items. I have some tape to put on my face so that, you know, near my eyes so that I can get a strong, sharp line of um, eyeshadow. And I have my Tangle Teaser here, which I've not used yet. I have really long, thick hair, and I'm really hoping that this is going to do for me what I need it to do. Um, this, it, I bought this before um, there was, you know, any thoughts of spending the kind of money that you need to spend to get a beauty blender. Um, <clears throat> everyone talked about how wonderful the beauty blender is, and, um, I thought, well, a sponge is a sponge, so one day I was at the drugstore, and I saw this, I'm not even sure what brand it, it was, but I saw this, and I thought, hey, well, you know, it's got this point, you know, you'll be able to get up close to the eyes, and, and, you know, the, all the little crooks of your face, and I thought that it would work, this was a waste of money, I would not trade anything for my beauty blender, and that's why I have the backup, because that one that I've been using right there is so filthy, okay, and that pretty much takes care of this drawer, um, the side drawers, this top drawer is basically a hold in place for right now, um, I told you that I'm, I just moved in, I haven't been able to put my polish racks on the wall yet, I have an extensive um, collection of nail polish. And so these are the polishes that I've been pulling out and using until I can get my racks on the wall and get my polish up. Um, this is just a safe place to keep them so they don't get knocked off and busted or anything like that. And also, of course, I've got my remote to the TV that's on the other side of the room so that I can, you know, watch TV in the mirror while I'm getting ready. So that's about it for that drawer. This next drawer is nothing but office stuff and other random things. That's basically the only drawer my son needs, and so he just keeps stuff in there. Down here, I have in the back, back here, I have several of the Bath & Body um, lotions and gels and shower gels and uh, things like that that's from this past summer from the Hawaii collection, and um, I just needed a place to store that because I was running out of storage. Um, I also have all of my dry shampoo down here. Um, Batiste is my favorite brand. I do curl my hair in front of the, um, the mirror here. So this is my curling iron. It's really, really old, but it's still kicking. So I'm not going to do anything until it changes because I've gotten used to it. Um, this is the, um, soap that you can buy for your beauty blender, the liquid soap. No, no, no. The, um, definitely buy the solid. That just doesn't work well for me. It, it just doesn't. The blue container here is, um, what my Sigma brushes came in when I purchased those. So if I ever need to travel and I want to take my Sigma brushes, then I can just throw this, throw them in this and I know they're protected. Um, this is another case that some It Cosmetics came in and another case that some It Cosmetic brushes also came in. So you can see that, you know, I, I really like, um, my Sigma brushes and everything. So, and they're very, very expensive. So I want to take care of them. But anyway, that's all there is really for the drawers in my desk. Um, and like I said in the last video, I don't really know where I got this bench from. I just know that it fits perfectly up in underneath the desk and it fits out of the way. I don't have to worry about anything. Now, let's talk about over here. This is the top of my, um, Alex 9 drawer. Um, the lamp is from Target. I have my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner right here, um, that I like to use to clean my brushes. Um, this right here is a gigantic jar of all kinds of lip balms. I really love lip balm. I also have quite a few of my uh, Too Faced Melted Lipsticks in here just because they're really hard to store and so I have that there at the back and my son knows if he needs some chapstick or anything like that he can come in here and find it just about any flavor he wants. I, I, I really have a huge stash of that. Uh, I just, I don't know. I like that and I love the EOS bombs. And some of it came from Forever 21, the ones that shape like a strawberry or a peach or things like that. Um, so I've collected them from just drugstore and all over. Um, over here, I have a little, just for decoration, I have a Chanel bag. I, I, someone gave me a gift, um, a Chanel gift, and I liked the little bag, and so I just set it back there for decoration. Of course, Bath and Body Works candle and stand and air freshener, just, you know, a room fragrance. And then my little owl here, I'm not really sure where I got him from. Uh, I can't remember where he came from. I think I paid about $8 for him, but he's empty right now. But I figured if I ever go above and beyond on my, um, my brush storage, if I ever get another set of brushes or anything like that, he would make a really cute, 
um, container for um, additional brushes. And then of course on the corner here, that's my roller balls that you would have seen me talk about in my perfume collection video. Now right here um, are where a lot of the palettes and things that I use on the regular would be located so that I can just kind of grab for them and that sort of thing. There's only two things that are not, that's not the case for. It would be this one. It's a, the cute little makeup bag from Sephora. It says, I would cry but my mascara as a designer. So cute and I'm waiting to use that just for a quick overnight trip or something. And then I also have the Too Faced little black book of bronzers. I absolutely loved this and I love Too Faced. I love all their bronzers and I thought this was a great way to try all of them. But then I ended up with all of them. So um, this is more of a collector's item for me than anything else, I guess. So the next thing, I have all of the um, Naked palettes. This is the Naked Smoky. This is Naked 3. Up here at the front, I have Naked 2. And then, of course, the original Naked. You cannot get any better than na the Naked palettes. They're awesome. Um, I also enjoy, um, I have both of the Lorac Pro from the year before and this past year. I have both of those here. Um, I have my two ride or dies here would be my chocolate bar palette and my semi-sweet palette. I love those. And I do have the Lorac Pro um, 1 and 2, um, the thin ones. Um, I love all of those. They are among my favorites. If I had to choose one up here that would be my absolute favorite, I would say chocolate bar palette would be my number one. And so, that brings us now to the drawers. I'm trying to go faster this time and not shake so much and not cover up the lens any. But um, I'm trying to just keep it as short as I can because 30 minutes is way too long for a video to ask y'all to sit through. So, let's get, get through this as quickly as we can. This top drawer, I just call it my tool drawer. Now, the reason I call it my tool drawer is because I don't really know what else to call it. Um, in the back here, I store just some um, samples and some uh, different items that I've gotten um, from being VIB Rouge at Sephora. Um, or they have come in a boxy charm or something like that. Um, I also have, um, this, this is like, you know, a, the blackhead remover or whatever. And then I have, of course, some Q-tips. The pointed Q-tips are the best, I think. Um, I have some extra little flat top kabuki brushes, the small ones that are just kind of hanging out here because I don't know where else to put them. On the side here, I got these from hotlook.com. Um, they are by the bomb. They're like little collector's brushes or whatever. Um, and I'm not planning on using them. Uh, I don't know. They're just too cute to use. And I already have enough brushes in my rotation as it already, as it already is. So, um, I don't know. I, I'm just keeping them in here. And maybe one day somebody, maybe I'll have a grandbaby one day and she'll want to play in my makeup. I don't know. But anyway, I'll hold them there for a while unless I decide to use them for some reason. Um, in this middle thing, I have, um, scissors. I have extra eyelash curlers. I have some, um, spot treatment shampoo for my brushes. I have my solid cleanser right here for my beauty blender. I have a couple of um, the pencil sharpeners and some additional extra brushes, some from e.l.f., uh, Real Techniques, things like that. So really, I, I, like I said, tool drawer is about all I can come up with this, but that's the top drawer. Now let's get down to some makeup. This would be my bronzer slash contour drawer. Um, I'm gonna move that out of the way for just a minute. Um, in this drawer, I keep all, anything that would be considered a bronzer and anything that would be considered or dark enough for me to use as a contour. The only thing that is not is I have this little um, container of Physician Formula, formula um, Argon Oil. Um, I like that during the summertime and I've just stuck it back there to get it out of the way. I have um, the Too Faced thing. I also have one of these Becca brushes. Um, I've not used mine. Uh, it came with a limited edition um, copper one, I think it was called, or rust or something like that. I don't know. We'll get to it. But I, I got this, and um, when I realized how large it is when I got home, I thought, how am I going to do anything with that? But since then, I've been seeing some people contour with this, and it looks pretty bomb. So I think I'm going to try that one out. Um, but I'm going to slide that back in there and um, everything. Okay, and then right here, I have two things that look almost just alike. I have, both of them are from Lorac. 
Um, I have the Tantastic and the Tantalizer. They are actually a little different. One's a little lighter than the other, um, but they're both really pretty um, just to dust over the face if you're not going to wear um, makeup or whatever. If you're at the beach or someplace carefree and you don't have to worry about a whole lot of makeup, um, it gives you a little bit of um, a sheer glow and a little color at the same time. I love Wet n Wild, the color icon bronzer. I love that. I have my Tahit, uh, Tahitian, is that what it, they call it? The, the, uh, yeah, the Tahiti bronzer. That's it from NARS. It's the one that comes with the, uh, miniature Eda brush. I love this stuff. It is a great color for me. I can bronze up with that in no time and I really enjoy it. Um, in the corner, I just have, um, a backup of my Betty Luminizer. I've not used the first one at all, but i when I saw this was on Hotlip.com, it was like five bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed another one. Um, I did purchase Bahama Mama. Um, I like it a lot. It's a little dark. I, it's sort of, I have to use that sort of at the end of the summer when I've had some sun. And this is actually an eyeshadow or a blush or something from NYX. And a lot of people have been, um, talking about it. It's just called taupe, but most people are using it for a contour. So I threw it in my contour drawer and I thought if I ever get, you know, to the point where I just want to sit in here and play and, um, you know, spend some time trying some new things. I thought that I would try that as a contour. Then I also have in here, I have the Too Faced Cocoa um, Contour. This stuff is so yummy. Just like their other powders, it smells like chocolate. I love this. It is a great product. Goes on smooth. It blends out so well. I really love it. But my true love is going to be the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette absolutely love this i use this is my go-to ride or die um contour i also love the lighter pal the lighter colors in there i don't know if i can even open it i'm used to having fingernails and i can't even get it open um but this is uh what i use i really i like to mix um these two colors i like to mix for my contour and then this center color right here I use under my eyes to set my eyes sometimes. It depends on how much sleep I've had. If I've had plenty of sleep, then, you know, I'll use something like that. If I haven't had enough sleep, then I just kind of pour on the contour. Um, in the back, you can see that um, my bronzers go all the way to the back. Um, that one in the back is from Ofra. And then I have a bunch of color pop here and then i have the Too faced uh melted uh let's see it's not melted but the milk chocolate the dark chocolate i've got a sun bunny somewhere it may be still in my purse i don't know but anyway i've got all different kinds of brands i got finish physicians formula nyc uh this is the becca one that i was talking about that came with that that i got with that brush and it is um let me see. Brushed copper. That's what it's called. I knew it had to be something along those lines, but it came in the limited edition packaging. It's really dark. Um, I don't use this unless I've got a really good tan, but it is a beautiful product. And so then up here, let me put that back. And then up here, just a, some more physicians, um, formula products. Um, I have the professional bronze fusion for makeup forever. This is probably the one that I reach for the most out of any of these. I do like the Hula by um, Benefit. I enjoy it. And I do enjoy, um, let's see, I do like the Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. But I just seem to like the Makeup Forever better because it's not so harsh and you can just build it up. And I like something that you can build up rather than something that once you put it on, you spend, you know, another 30 minutes just trying to build just to blend it out. I didn't have any place to put this. This is actually a, a blush from Too Faced. I just put it there because I didn't have any place left over in my blush drawer, which I believe is what's next. Down into the next drawer. Yes. Okay, in this next drawer here, um, I have tons of color pop blushes. I love these. These are best used with a brush, a wispy um, brush like this, you know, just the dual fiber brush. Um, those really seem to work best for me with these because they are a sort of a cream to dry consistency. I don't like cream products on my face, but these work. I really enjoy them. Um, they're beautiful. There's all different kinds of colors here for different types of skin color. Um, and I, my skin color changes 
with the time of year. I live in Alabama. Um, I live close to the beach. I like to spend a lot of time at the beach. And so um, I like to have several colors that I use when I have a really nice tan. And I also like to have colors that I can use this time of year when I've had no sun at all. So um, I have um, a couple of Physicians Formula products in this drawer also. I have the Hard Candy uh, Ombre Glow. Um, I have some products from e.l.f. There's some older products that I've got back there. One, this one's never been opened. It's the Maybelline Brick. Um, I got it, and then I started hear, hearing a lot of people complain about it or whatever. I've not tried it yet, but we're going to try it out later um, one day. And I have a couple of blushers from NYX. Then I have plenty of the... Um, the uh bomb products i have cabana boy down boy and frat boy and then i have my favorite three of the love flush brushes from too faced um this one happens to be love flush how deep is your love these are great because they also are foolproof they have to be kind of built up and so as you build up you can stop where you need to instead of dipping your brush in there and going to your face with too much product at one time so that's always good okay in the back here i have to begin with i have um, a nars palette it has blushers and bronzers in it um, i have a few you, um, these three right here are all from e.l.f. and they are like a duo. They have um, blush on one side and contour on the other or bronzer or whatever you want to call it. it. depends on the color you are. And then I have um, NARS Laguna and then I have the blush. Um, it's, uh, I think it's Orgasm. Let me see. Yes, Orgasm. Um, I, I really like it because it's got a little bit of sheen, so it's got just a, a few little gold specks in it. Um, it doesn't transfer to your face like as glitter, um, but I really like it. I have these right here, and these are both cream blushers. And, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm not a fan of anything cream. The only time I would probably wear these, I, I mean, I've tried them, and when it's warm weather, I just feel like I've just got some kind of a gunk on my face. It makes my face and my skin feel heavy. Um, during the winter is probably the only time I would wear these. Um, but I have plenty of other, uh, other blushes to use, and if I was to declutter, these would probably go. Um, also, up in here, these are all by Milani. I have the um, rose um, ones. Each one um, is has its own look, but I, I tend to pull for this one a little bit more during the fall and winter. Um, this one back here is really good um, for the summertime. And this one's good pretty much any time because I like to just swirl the brush all in there and get everything and mix it all together. Um, it's really good. Um, I do have a Clinique Cheek Pop right here. And I have a um, blush from Hourglass right here. It is the Luminous Flush in Ambient. Um, it's really a beautiful product. I love anything from Hourglass or um, Becca. Okay, and so I have a couple of um, Milani um, blushes here that are also really pretty, especially if you want to glow. This one on top is really good. And then I have this past year's um, holiday um, palette from Tarte. This is the, the blush palette from, from Tarte. I'm trying to get a hold of it here. Um, I've used it. I still have the little thing covering the um, mirror so that the powder doesn't get up into the mirror. But um, I, I really, I like it. Um, I think the, probably the center one is my favorite. Um, it's called Prim. And then other than that, I would have to say Smashing is probably my second favorite out of that. But Tarte does a great job. I mean, you cannot get better than um, Tarte blushes. I'm not real crazy about their eye shadows but i really do like their um their blushes so let's get that back in there and move on okay the next drawer this is where you're going to find all my face powders but mostly um like highlighter kind of powders that sort of thing so i just really usually call this my highlight drawer um i do enjoy eyeshadow but highlighter is my favorite makeup product and i don't care if i look like a disco ball from outer space i absolutely love me some highlighter and i usually overdo it just a little bit and but that's fine it's my face i can do what i want to with it um i have the tooth face there is the little heart shaped beads that you can swirl your brush in which is really really pretty um i just have like a, a if this is just like a little um it's called um diamond powder for makeup forever um but yeah it's just like a little uh face glitter it just it adds a little sparkle that's about it um i have the becca um afterglow palette 
this is great for traveling. Um, I like it because you have your face powders, your highlight, and a blusher in there. And so I really, really like, and I, of course, Becca, I mean, you can't do any better than Becca for a, a product anyway. Um, again, I have plenty of ColourPop in there all the way back. I have tons of their highlighters. I really like this one. And it's, it's sort of a lilac color, but I really, really enjoy it. I have the um, Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Um, this is beautiful to use when you are wearing a sundress or something like that. Um, take a fan brush and put a little bit of it on your collarbones and on your shoulders, and it gives your body just a healthy glow. I absolutely love it. Okay, and then next we have um, just a face powder from Philosophy. I have a highlighter from Too Faced um, and several different... Um, this is from Hard Candy. It's just, it's a real light glow. It's, it's, it's not, you know, one of the strongest ones, but it, it does give you a pretty glow. I have can the candlelight, um, from Too Faced, and then this is just a physician's formula. And, um, so I have that there. And then in the back, what I grabbed out just a second ago is the Hourglass Edit Palette. This is awesome. I love this. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. You can look and see, um, the different ones that are in there but oh it's so pretty i enjoy it so much i love it and if i've had plenty of rest and i'm not battling dark circles like to the extreme then i like to use the ambient light powder in there to um set under my eyes because it just gives you a healthy glow um starting from the back here i have um a wet and wild um powder from the fergie line um and then on the side here i have my sandy luminizer and a backup um, and then I have the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick, which I absolutely love. Um, another Hourglass Powder. This is the Ambient Lighting, I think. Let me see. It's just, yeah, Ambient Luminous Light. So, I've got that. I've got a couple of, uh, this is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And this one is in, um, let's see, Sunset Pink. It was, I think, a limited edition. I'm not sure. Um, I want the peach one, and I think that they stay sold out with it. But that is um, the sunset pink one. It is beautiful. I do have a couple of the Laura Mercier um, powders. I have this one, and I have one on up front here. Um, beautiful, beautiful powders. I have a Becca um, highlight. Um, it's a... Uh, it's actually, it, it just says Low Light Highlight Perfecting Palette. Um, it, it's, it's really good. And then, um, that's my Laura Mercier. I like to set my whole face with this sometimes just for a, a, an added glow. Um, like I said, I love my powders. I have the Make It Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. And then, um, I, uh, nobody has a collection that's complete if you don't have the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It does not look like much of a product. It looks very small, but it packs a bang. It is absolutely worth the money. Um, it goes forever. I mean, it is such a strong, I mean, it is wonderful. And if you really want to glow, wet your brush and stick it in there. And girl, it is beautiful. Um, of course, what is a highlight drawer without a couple of um, Becca um, powders? I have Opal and my favorite besides, I, I would have to say, the Gilded Honey and Champagne Pop from just, uh, uh, Jaclyn Hill, um, her collab collaboration with um, Becca. Those are my two absolute favorite um, highlights pretty much so far of my life. I absolutely fell in love with Champagne Pop. When they made it permanent, it made me so happy. I got so excited. And, um, yeah, I mean, I just, I tend to really go more for a gold-colored shimmer anyway. Um, a pearlized white or even a light pink sometimes is just too light on my skin tone. And so the gold, I just, oh, my gosh, that peachy gold of the Jaclyn Hill, um, Champagne Pop is just gorgeous. Um, on this side over here, I do have, um, a blusher from the Christopher Kane NARS um, limited edition set. Um, I have a couple of um, the uh, liquid illuminators. This one is Opal from Becca. And then I have one that I got in um, just a, like a boxy charm or something. But it actually works pretty good. And I actually have, I know this is going to seem crazy, but I'm going to show it to you. This is, um, the infallible eyeshadow from, um, L'Oreal and it's in, um, essential, uh, I'm sorry, eternal sunshine. I think it was Katie from Luster Lux that showed this. I'm not sure, 
but I saw it and I came in here because I have a, several of these and I wanted to see if I had it and I did. She was using this as a gold highlighter and it was gorgeous. So I moved it from my eyeshadow drawer to my um, highlighter drawer because I, I, it's, it's prettier on the cheeks by far. And so I thought that's kind of neat that you can, you know, I mean, makeup is an art. Nobody can tell you how to do your makeup. You do your makeup the way you want to do it and use the products that you want to use. If you find something that works, if it's an eyeshadow and you think that it looks better as a highlighter, then go for it, girl. You do what you want to because there are no rules in makeup. Makeup is an art form and I truly believe that. Now, here we go with just some of my singles. Um, this in the back here, um, I have in the back, you'll see there's a row. I have some underneath this one that slides, and then I have some other. Those are all ColourPop eyeshadows. They go from cream to shadow. They're easy to blend. I love ColourPop eyeshadows. They are beautiful. And the Super Shocks are amazing. They really, you, even if you don't use them over your whole eye and you just use them in the center of your eye as a, you know, just a pop of color, um, but they, they're fabulous, and they blend very well, even if they are cream to powder they do blend very very well um up here i have some elf um shadow pots i have some of the color tattoos and that sort of thing then i have um this was a marble set from um color pop that was a limited edition and then also i have um there's some more of just various ones that i have you know the, there's another um color tattoo and there's one from cargo that came in a a, a boxy charm um, this one right here came from, um, ColourPop. I've not used it yet, but that's really only because I, I just got it. Um, they sold this and all the proceeds went towards a no-kill shelter, a no-kill dog shelter. And, um, that, that is makeup and animals, especially dogs, are two of my things that really touch my heart. And I just felt like that I had to support that cause. Um, I just felt like that was worth supporting. In the center, I have all of these that are Sephora shadows, and then here are my the rest of my L'Oreal Infallibles. I have some single, um, let's see, NARS, and there's a couple of Wet n' Wild ones here. One is Panther, and one is the white one. I can't remember the name of it, but Panther, Wet n' Wild Panther, if you can find it, you need to get it, because that is going to be the blackest eyeshadow that you will ever need. Use it as an eyeliner, do whatever you want to with it, because it is black and it will work. Um, I just recently purchased some individual Urban Decay um, shadows. The ones that are in the um, full looking pack, uh, pack, which is these two right here, are, are part of the Moon Dust collection, and the others are just part of their normal shadow range, but I can't wait to dig into those. I've been biting at it to get in here and get them um, to trying those. I really enjoy them. Okay, now we've come to I'm going to kind of get down on my knees so I can show you. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. So, the other one was my singles, and this is my um, palette drawer. Um, starting in the back here, these are just some quads from the drugstore like uh, Maybelline or Revlon, things like that. And I have one from uh, Drew Barrymore's, that's Clinique. And then I have one somewhere here, right here, that's from the flower brand from that Drew Barrymore puts out through Walmart. I have one of those. These are my e.l.f. palettes. Um, e.l.f. put out a couple of palettes that were really, really good and great payoff, beautiful colors. So I grabbed those because they were so inexpensive. Um, I think you'll see how much I enjoy um, Too Faced. I have Bedroit Eyes, and then I have here, this is the Natural Matte. If you can only buy one um, makeup palette from Too Faced, I would say absolutely go with the Natural Matte. It is beautiful. The colors are awesome. You can do so many different looks with this, and it is the highest quality. I will absolutely love it. Then we've got Sugar Pop. Then I've got the Romantic Eye and the Smoky Eye, both um, from Too Faced also. Um, and then over here on this side, I have the Too Faced Love Palette. And then behind there, I have my two, um, Z palettes that I have, um, accumulated from, uh, Makeup Geek. This is my more neutrals. And then this here, if I can get it up where you can see it. This are these are my brighter colors, you know, that I would add in my outer V or something like that. But that's where those came from. And then my love palette, I'll put it over here. Um, in this, this is the flower um, from uh, 
Walmart. This is um, Tarte. It's a, it's a quad from Tarte. Then I have just, you know, a L'Oreal. Um, that's a Laura Geller. Um, and then I have all these down in this corner are Benefit. And um, I love Benefit shadows. Their quads and their duos are all really good. In the middle here, I have the Stardust palette by Vegas Nay with Too, um, Too Faced. It has uh, really beautiful shadows in it. I, it's a great palette to get. So if you've held off on getting this one, I, I would say get it because it's it's really great. Um, in the back here, I just have like Milarot Luster drops, and I have just like some you know glitters and th you know like bases like that. Uh, foil bases, things like that is back there because I don't go for those as much. So I just kind of stick them back there where they're out of the way. Now, here is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for the eyes. Um, this is beautiful, but I would say this. I told you earlier that I had two favorites as far as my eyeshadows were concerned, The and they tie for first place. The first one was my chocolate bar palette. And then I have these two from Kat Von D. This is the Chrysalis palette and this is the Monarch palette. They are both beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's the only thing I can really say for them. I mean, they're gorgeous. And the quality is unbelievable. And I don't think the quality in these, I don't think any of her other shadows or anything that I've seen since these two came out even can compare to these two. Chrysalis is beautiful but this right here this is my baby um like i said this is the monarch palette by kat von d um i don't know if they're sold in stores or not i mean sometimes i'll go into sephora and i'll see one there and sometimes i go in there and there's no sign or trace of them but those are absolutely two gorgeous 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 palettes um they're very much worth um the hype they're worth everything and more um they are just absolutely totally gorgeous okay so let's go down to this next door real fast this is where all my lipsticks are i have a um lip gloss case here to all my lip glosses i have nyx and uh l'oreal um maybelline nars too faced um, various ones here, um, from CoverGirl, my Milani matte lipsticks, um, my Calvin Klein lipsticks, and all that kind of stuff, um, back here is just random. I have Clinique and Laura Geller and, uh, stuff from Maybelline, you know, just whatever. Um, so that's what is in that drawer, so I don't ever have to worry about a lipstick. The next drawer is, um, simply storage for extra candles and the same for the bottom, except for I keep a lot of my bag that have come with my boxy charm or um, samples from the store that I get in my order from Sephora. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me get up from the thing here. So, anyway, um, yeah, I didn't put these back up, but these are all beautiful. I would say if you want to go the route of doing a um, Z palette, definitely check out Makeup Geek. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's another long one, guys, but I got through it. I just wanted to make sure you saw everything, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please keep me in mind when you're thinking about clicking that subscribe button or that like button. Please give me a thumbs up, and um, I hope that you like these chatty videos. I'm ch I'm chatty by nature, so you know it is what it is. I just um I just enjoy doing this for you know and getting to share with you guys because I feel like I'm talking to one of my girlfriends, and that's what I say in the description. I really do feel like you guys are becoming my friends. You have such sweet comments and those kinds of things. So anyway, from this girl in Alabama to all of you out there all over the world in the YouTube world, thank you so much for supporting me, and I will talk to you later. Bye.